As Young Thug celebrates a number one album in the country, the first time he's had one of those with his new project, So Much Fun, obviously he's one of the topics of conversation in music right now. And as people start to dig into Thug's past and kind of question his fashion decisions as Thug does interviews, he's even called himself the straightest man in the world to defend himself as he's been criticized and people have called him homophobic slurs questioning his sexuality pretty much all his career it gets to the point where thugs criticism goes as far as people start to question his street credibility who he might have was before he had the rap fame or who he might still be today even with the rap fame and that's where people have to take up for young thug and say yo this dude is really from the streets he just like making questionable fashion decisions that he thinks is dope one guy that can at least verify that thug is really from nothing because he was alongside young thug back in the day is comedian and superstar dc young fly who actually went to high school with thugger thugger in a recent interview with the adam no jumper podcast dc young fly told a story about how one time young thug had to put his hands on a teacher man you know what i'll never forget said dc young fly we was on a team luther jess price middle school Thug grew up in a real rough ass neighborhood called Johnsboro South. This shit is for real. You dig what I'm saying? I forgot. But something happened with the teacher. He said something to Thug. And you know Thug, goddamn, you know Thug, I'm going to be 100. Thug came from the slums. I'm talking about the dirt, like the dirt. To see him handle his business, get matches and shit, nigga, I salute it. I know where the fuck he come from. I know from you, your sister, you handled your business like a man because he really comes from nothing. The teacher says something to Thug and he didn't grab Thug. And you know, as a child, you scared. So Thug popped his ass. <laughs> then DC started to act out how Thug popped him. You got to watch I Don't Know Jumper's interview to see it. That nigga was like, and then it, this is where DC starts to clutch his nose in his mouth. And then he said, Thug just walked out the room, bruh. And he's like, that was the last time we seen that nigga. And then Young Thug got kicked out of the school. All right, this for everybody that went to a predominantly poor school for middle school or high school. Y'all let me know in the comment box below. What's the craziest thing you've seen somebody? Or hell, maybe you was the one who did it. What's the craziest thing you've seen somebody do to a teacher? I can tell y'all my mind's off top. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Eighth grade, me and my homies, we jumped the hall monitor. But that ain't bad enough, though. In high school, I ain't gonna lie, I watched some niggas tie up a damn teacher and rob him for all his computers in the middle of the class. I'm not lying. Yo, salute to Memphis Craigman High School. I thank you guys so much for the time, love, support. I don't take it for granted. Salute. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids, they Tuned in. Tuned in. We locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. Watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV.